Hi, everybody. It's Moira. I wanted to talk a little bit about a new category that I discovered on learning chocolate. I'm going to take my video away because I think it's distracting for this uh, overview. So when I was on learning chocolate, I noticed that and you may have noticed also, I noticed this new recently added um, set of vocabulary with Kamala Harris. So I was very intrigued um, only to find out that this is part of a special series about US citizenship, which is chock full of really great uh, information for vocabulary about citizenship and civics, um, often things that we teach in class, including holidays and also civics education like government. So let's take a look. I'm clicking on, let me just go back one moment so that I make sure it's clear on here where I am clicking. So we went to the special category, special series uh, here in the category. I'm going to click here and I'm going to go all the way over to the special series and I'm going to click on the US citizenship um, link here. So let me clear that so that I can click on the link. So what I found was there are all these different sets with um, categories of things that have to do with the actual test and the questions that have to do with history, that have to do with voting. So um, you know, and the particular one with Kamala is down here, just so you see this new one that was added. So it's got Kamala Harris, it has Raphael Warnock, Ilhan Omar, Stacey Abrams, and Michelle Obama. Um, what's so interesting about this set also is that many of these learning chocolate sets for citizenship include, if you scroll down below the set, uh, information about why the set is being highlighted or the vocabulary is being highlighted. So for African American History Month, um, often again, they will have a link uh, to more and additional information. And they connect the sets. Not every uh, set in this series connects, but many of them connect with the 100 history and civics questions, um, which are linked here for the US CIS. So that's all really amazing information that's linked together. Um, so the sentences and the connections that they make here for language learners or folks who are studying for the civics, um, the citizenship test. Kamala Harris is the first African American and Asian American to serve as vice president, connecting with USCIS of the 100 questions number 30. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president, right? The question that's actually asked. So you can take a look at the other uh, connections to the 100 questions. I wanna go back and just look at a few other highlights. You can explore on your own, but um, there were some amazing um, connections, I think that are really great for teaching. Um, so I noticed also that this, uh, the person who put together this series um, has things like 18 or 14A, right? So there are numbers here, 
And from what I can tell, this is the order in which the person um, added the set to the series. So let's go to number one, for example. And, you know, very simple language, uh, the country, uh, parts of the flag, and of course, the father of our country, uh, the first US President George Washington. Um, if you're not familiar with learning chocolate, I should have said this in the beginning, but of course, this is great practice for in class with pronunciation and vocabulary, but it also is a great um, out of Zoom uh, vocabulary practice, right? So you have different activities that you can do where you listen uh, here at the bottom you listen to the different audio and you match things. So for example, you would listen to number one. George Washington. And when you see, when you hear George Washington, you drag the audio to here. You can tell if you got it wrong. Here's number two. Right, that's flag. So maybe I think that goes here. And you can compare stripes and flag, right? So that's not correct. And hopefully the student will be able to notice that. And you have a time uh, going to tell you how quickly you can match those. There's a second matchup with words to pictures. There's a third matchup with pictures, not just words, but pictures to uh, the listening, the audio. And then you can also do the typing practice, right? The United States. So you have to do typing another great practice. And finally, the dictation. So you listen and you can type and check your answers. Um, the others, you can also check your answers, but I'm just showing this part here so that you can see what you have correct and what you have wrong. Okay, so let's go back to the series with all of these. That was just number one. One that I thought was really interesting and um, helpful was this one, US citizenship number 16. I'll show it with the annotation here. Right. Uh, citizenship 16 branches of government. So if we click on this one, you can see all the different branches with the vocabulary. I'm pressing on the president, president. right? And it goes with the executive branch. You have all the different activities here and then you have at the bottom below the US CIS uh, 100 questions, number 13, name one branch of government. So again, a great connection between the actual vocabulary in the lesson and the 100 questions that are asked on the test. You'll see that um, one other part that I wanted to show just quickly um, that uh, let's go to the legislative branch um, just to watch out for, right? This legislative branch is here. And so 
the reason I'm opening this one up is because sometimes, because it's been created not recently and probably not updated, of course, uh, Paul Ryan is no longer the Speaker of the House, but you can speak about that with your students. Um, just, you know, kind of review the set before you use it. Um, and again, if you click, uh, scroll down, you'll see many, many questions with this legislative branch set. So that's a really high um, usage one. Um, you get a lot of bang for your buck with this one. Um, also, some links here uh, to different items. One last thing that I want to say, because there's so much that is here just for you to explore, I really just want to introduce you to this series, is that this is authored by this uh, unknown person, but uh, I clicked on her link, the link here, I believe it's a, a woman, uh, because her name is Jennifer Gagliardi, and this took me to her website, which I think is also a really terrific resource. She has the U.S. Citizenship Podcast, and she seems to update it pretty frequently because it says here, um, that's not what I wanted to look at. It had uh, resources for Women's History Month on the right side here. I'm clicking on Women's History Month. And it says that it was updated March 1st, 2021. So that's pretty recently. So with that, I leave you to explore. I'm just going back to the homepage of um, Learning Chocolate and just to remind you, I'm going to click on the homepage here so you can see the web address https colon backslash backslash www.learningchocolate.com. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Take care. Hope to see you soon.